welcome back to a new vlog. So, wow, I realise how rough I look. Whew. I've just woken up and I've just set a brand new video live. It is Sunday today and it's literally like 5 past 10. So my video has just gone live. So that means for the next like half an hour, I'm going to sit and reply to some comments. But right now, you guys are going to see future me when I'm a little bit ready. And then we'll go back to now because I've actually got a really exciting giveaway for you guys. And I cannot wait for you guys to hear about it. So I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway for you guys, which I'm super excited about. And it is in partnership with CYO, which is a brand new beauty brand that's exclusively sold in boots so i'm going to be giving away five of these anastasia x cyo boxes and i'm going to show you a bit about what you can win and tell you how to enter and everything but i'm so excited i love cyo i've been using a ton of their products recently i've actually got on the foundation which is so nice and i've got on the metallic liquid lipstick it's like a nudie pink color and it's so so pretty and it's really moisturizing as well so i'm going to show you guys what you could win like i said there's going to be five of these boxes and there'll also be a little signed insert from me as well so that's very exciting a lot of these products are actually multi-use which is amazing and obviously that means you can use them for several different things first of all you'll be winning the blending brush and the foundation brush i love these brushes so much i have a few in my pot and they're really really good you'll also be winning the long lasting foundation which is what i was talking about earlier which i have on today which is super super pretty i love this and you'll also be winning the illuminating mixing cream which you can just mix into your foundation you can mix it into your primer kind of really whatever you want to mix it in for your base and obviously this is one of the multi-use products that I was talking about. You can use it for like several different things. And then this is the lipstick that I've got on. It's the metallic liquid lipstick in the shade. Actually, I don't know what the shade is. It's in the shade Plead the Fifth and it's so pretty. And then you're also going to win this. It's just some bronzing shimmer oil. I love the packaging of this. You just lift it out the tube and then it's like those squirty drop things. I love this packaging. It's so satisfying. You're also going to win a gold eyeshadow and then a cream shadow and blush. So again, to use you can use it as eyeshadow or you can use it as blush you'll also be winning a ombre lipstick mine is in the shade partner in crime which is this gorgeous like nude shade but it's two different nude shades if that makes sense so half of the lipstick is darker and then half of the lipstick is lighter and then you'll also be winning some more multi-use products you've got the two clever by half lipstick and liner so one half is lipstick one half is liner i actually used this in my instagram post the other day i just used it in a selfie and it was so good it's the one where like the sun is like glowing on my face and it's like quite close up with this headband on if you want to see what that looks like on i've got this on in that picture and then you're also going to be winning this which is a lip blush and highlight stick so you can use it for your lips your blush or your highlight which is amazing this side is like probably the highlight side because it's a lot more lighter and it looks more shimmery and then this side is a lot more red so you can use this as lipstick or as blush so those are all the products that you will be winning in this little box that will say anastasia x cyo and then like i said you will be winning a little insert that's got my name on it and i've like signed it and stuff for you guys so that is very exciting so to enter all you need to do is go down below to the link in the description and fill out the online form and then you need to follow a brand box and you need to follow c CYO on Instagram so it's super simple it would take you no longer than five minutes to do and then you could win one of these boxes at the end of it so I also just wanted to mention that the giveaway is in fact international and it will run for seven days from when this goes live and then the winners will be announced on the brand box Instagram and there's five winners so how exciting is that that is basically the giveaway I'm super excited like I said I love the makeup so much I've got the lipstick on now and it feels so so pretty so I would definitely recommend you guys to get these products but in the meantime go and enter my giveaway so that's pretty cool so i got back from berlin literally like not yesterday the day before yes like not yesterday the day before in the evening and then i went straight to a party so i have two days worth of berlin vlog footage that you guys haven't yet seen so guess what i'm gonna put it right here <laughs> this morning i've been on a plane yesterday i was traveling to london like last night i was traveling all the way to heathrow i stayed in an airport hotel last night and then now i'm actually in berlin in germany so i'm actually only here for one night i'm literally flying home at like five o'clock tomorrow and it's currently like 12 o'clock um twitter and their company niche have actually sent me out here because i basically work a lot with niche which is twitter's agency and um as i've done a few like different bits for them they are inviting a few influencers out here and we're gonna have a party and we're at soho house which is insane like 
insane. Lewis is also out here, Marcus Butler's out here, um, Aaron Craskell, I'm trying to think, Lydia Millen, I'm trying to think of a few other people I saw on the list. Um, there's about 50 of us in total, there's only like 10 of us from the UK and then the rest is German influencers and managers and we're basically just here to network and to talk and to meet people and have a good time. The party doesn't start until 6 o'clock tonight and it runs until 10 so we do have like quite a few spare hours which is going to be really nice as well so me and my manager Rebecca who's also here with me we are going to go and head out and get some lunch and kind of do a little bit of exploring and then tomorrow we're going to go and do one of those like free tour things um where we're going to like get a tour of all the sites of Berlin so that's really exciting. Right now I actually want to show you the whole kind of room as I'm very excited for it. When I walked in I was like whoa this is just not like a normal London hotel room. So the first thing you see when you walk in my room is actually a full blown kitchen like this is an actual kitchen i've got the sink weird story actually well it's not really a really weird story i had this exact sink and these kind of exact kitchen in my old house so it's kind of really creepy when i walked in and then you've got all like the cupboards and stuff you've got like your kettle basically everything in a normal kitchen you've got your dining room table and your two chairs and then when you turn to the right there's the bathroom now i'm not really sure how the lights work yet i haven't really figured that one out but let me just quickly do that before i can actually show you what there is in here okay no word of a lie i literally cannot figure out how to turn the lights on so that's going to be really interesting but anyway this is the bathroom and then you turn around you've got like your little like living area you've got your sofa you've got like this table with a lamp on you've got a massive like table in the middle which has got loads of drinks and stuff which i will definitely not be touching and then you've got a tv there and then you've got two windows and then you've got the massive bed at the back which is so beautiful it's so old-fashioned but i love that um and yeah this is basically the room i was just very shocked that I had like a full-blown kitchen. However, I have just realised I went to go charge my phone and I've actually forgotten um, my iPhone charge, not my iPhone charger, sorry, an adapter to fit because I forgot that I'm actually not in London anymore. I'm in Berlin and they don't have uh, UK plug sockets. They have Europe plug sockets. So I'm going to try and figure out how to use this phone, ring down and see if they have any. If not, I'm going to have to go buy one and we're going to go out for lunch anyway, so it shouldn't be a problem. But that's basically my room. I'm very excited. I'll show you guys me getting ready as well. I'll do like a little get ready with me in this vlog. Um, but it's kind of strange because it's like one of the first press trips that like I've actually been invited on myself, which is crazy actually. If not, it's my first one. Cause obviously I went to LA with Saf and Coachella, but Saf invited me to go with her. So this is like my first one that I've ever been invited on. So it's very, very exciting. I finally feel human again. I've got my makeup on. I've just done really natural kind of like glam makeup. Like this mascara is so good. I've just put on a crap ton of highlight and now I'm gonna curl my hair, but I feel so much better now I've got makeup on. I haven't got a lip color on yet cause I still need to go brush my teeth again. But honestly, I feel so much better now I've got a makeup on. Now I feel like I'm ready to party. And I am ready. I'm so sorry. This is the only mirror I can show you my outfit and the light's kind of coming in from backwards. So it's kind of looking a bit dark but I've got on this lace bodysuit from Pretty Little Thing I've got on some black skinny jeans and I've just got on these little booty heels and then I've got on this like orange blazer it's like a burnt orange blazer from Misguided and then I've just got on my usual bag and I'm now going to head up to Lewis's room I'm just going to go see him for a little while and then Rebecca's going to come down and we are going to head to the party apparently because this is a Soho house I'm not actually allowed to film outside my room which I really didn't know so I'm going to try and sneak some clips I don't want to do anything that I'm not meant to do uh, but obviously tomorrow's part of the vlog will be way better because we're exploring but tonight kind of doing some worky bits and if I can vlog then I'll grab the vlog camera out but I can't promise anything because it literally got handed a piece of paper that said no cameras allowed I was like nice place for us youtubers okay the lighting could not be more yellow if I tried and I feel like today I have been the worst vlogger but that was because I wasn't allowed to get my camera out at the party because we're in Soho house and basically to go in Soho house from what I've learned you have to be a member so you're not allowed to film anywhere but your hotel room because it's like a membership club or at least that's how it works in Berlin I'm not sure if that's how it works in the London one they've got one in Miami one in Berlin and one in London I'm not a member obviously Twitter is a member and I'm here with Twitter so I've been allowed in um exclusive access and i would love to go and film it for you but i don't want to risk getting told off and then risk putting it online and you guys know the drill so i'm home the party was so good i'm saying i'm home the party was in the hotel it was like four hours it was so much fun like there was loads of different people there i was with my manager rebecca most of the time and lewis and it was so good and i met so many people from the team at twitter because obviously i've done like campaigns for twitter before i've done ee i've done hp and they 
they were all for Twitter. So it was just really cool to meet the team behind those, if that makes sense, and like upcoming campaigns that I'm hopefully gonna get to do, which is amazing. So that is basically what we were doing, and I've basically just got back to my room. I've just ordered a cheeseburger to my room, which I'm so excited for. You guys know I love a good cheeseburger. And here is the moment of truth, okay? We've got my little tomato sauce and mayonnaise. Um, here we go. Oh gosh, it's really hot. <gasps> oh my God. That is literally exactly what I fancy right now. I'm so excited to tuck into this. I've also just ordered myself some breakfast. So I just ordered myself some pancakes and Nutella, which is gonna go down a treat because I am starving. I had that burger last night, which was the last thing that you saw and that was so good. So I thought to myself, well, I'm gonna get myself breakfast. It's not actually that badly priced either. I've just paid 10 euros for Nutella and pancakes, which is like eight pounds. So I don't think that's too bad, depending on the size portion that I get. Look at me going all technical with my pancakes. It's that time again. Are you guys ready? Oh my God. How good does that look? Like, look at those pancakes. Oh my lord. Guess who is looking human again? I've done my makeup. I just quickly want to show you what I got from Sephora. It's like not a big haul at all. It's literally one thing that I was meant to use yesterday, but I'm just going to put it on on the plane. I just got one of these Sephora coconut face mask things. They're meant to be really, really good. And I only paid like £3.50 for it here. So I'm going to use this on the plane home tonight. That's literally the only thing I got from Sephora. But I'm ready. I've just got on this grey crop top and these like grey collot type trousers from Pretty Little Thing. Oh, actually, no, the top is from I Saw It First and the trousers are from Pretty Little Thing. And I'm just waiting for my hair curlers to turn on so I can just top up my hair from last night because it's kind of still like wavy, but it's not like completely wavy, you feel? So we've arrived at the starting point for the tour and we're currently just standing watching this guy and he's blowing the biggest bubbles I've ever seen. Like, look at the size of that. It's so big. Jewish lives lost in the Holocaust to be around six million. That's a huge number, isn't it? Very hard to even imagine six million people. That's six million individual lives. physical embodiment the cold war that had the world in its grips around 40 years now i imagine probably a lot of you have seen the wall for the first time in your lives is that right We've just stopped off for some lunch in the middle of the tour i've just grabbed a pizza and a bottle of coke and then sadly we are going to have to leave for the airport I feel like this vlog's already been a bit all over the place, but now we are back to today and today's Sunday I've got quite a bit of filming that I need to do today um, I've got a video that I really need to film I was meant to do it Friday or no, not sorry Friday Saturday Did not happen because I was so tired all day and I spent the day with my nan So honestly, I need to do that today and I also really want to go out for some food tonight So I'm gonna see if any of my friends are free to go and get some food because I really fancy going out for dinner Maybe not even like a dinner dinner just like a Nice little takeaway type of thing. Look who I'm with. Look at your little smile. We're about to play a game. We're going to play, what's it called? Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse, but what's the game called? Is it like, oh, it's this one. Okay, basically, I think you've seen this play this before in a video. Have I filmed it before? I think it. I think I have. Explain how you play it. You have to spin the wheel and wish I love. We, we just eat our small pit and we get when we needed. Just give it to the other person. Okay. Okay. Okay, you ready? So, yeah. So, I was three. I told you who I was with Mummy, Donald. Who do you want to be now? Mickey first, Donald then, after, and then Pluto last. So, who do you want to be now? So, first Mickey Mouse, then, De and then Minnie. And then Donald at the end. Here is my finished game piece. We've got the completed maybe we Pluto. Should, maybe we should build my two. Should we build yours up? Yeah. Go on then, put the blue in. Okay. Put the green in. Okay, because it's worth. It is worth it, isn't it? Yeah. Atticus, tell them about bees. What do you know about bees? I know there's, that they have a honey tummy. And they have... 
a normal tummy. Yeah. But I ate them two tummies. Clever boy. And what are, what was Mummy teaching you the other day? What animals bite and what animals don't bite? Why do pen, what do cows pen, don't bite? No, what do penguins bite? And with? why why don't Atticus? Why don't why don't cows bite? Because they. Do you remember? Because they only have the teeth at the bottom. Yeah. They have no top teeth. Did you know that, cows? No, I didn't yeah. know that. And penguins. Tell them what you know about penguins. They right. have. A hook on the end of their big get so they can bite. It really hurt someone, yeah. Uh, they can't bite it because it really hurt. Yeah. We've arrived at McDonald's. Atticus, what did you get? Oh, you just tell them. Oh, I'll tell them. I've got chicken nuggets and chip, but I broke up one of the chicken nuggets because it was really hot and then he said he didn't want it, so now I've got an extra chicken nugget. Home from McDonald's. I'm so hot. Like I cannot even tell you guys how hot it is outside. I really just want to jump in the bath, get my makeup off, and then just sit in bed and edit because I have so much editing to do tonight and so much things that I need to send over. So that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. I think Atticus loves going to McDonald's. It's not like very often that me and Atticus will just get to spend time me and him. So I thought, why not? I'm going to like take him on a long walk and we'll go out and stuff. So we're out for a good like two hours, which was really nice. He is now shattered though, and he's got like sweat dripping down his back bless his heart i did carry him like a little bit of the way home because he was just so tired um but that was really really fun i'm glad that he enjoyed that i love spending time with him and i was just finding out about his week and stuff because he breaks up from nursery next week and then he starts in big school in september well like i don't know what you call it like it's he's in nursery now so the one up from that preschool i have no idea but he starts there in september which is mad oh i actually make myself laugh sometimes i was just sat here and basically i like just like to cool myself off a bit to have a bit of like a break i always like play some music and literally that's like all i do i just play music um and i'll just have like a little dance to myself in my room because that's what us cool kids do and um i was just listening to i'm gonna tell you my little playlist i've got money bag by cardi b chun lee by Nicki minaj top off by dj khaled jay-z future and beyonce and then I'm also listening to Eskedit from Little Pump. Love that song. Um, as you can see, the songs I'm going for are quite grime and they're quite like rappy because that gets me in the mood. Um, I also like, what else have I been listening to at the moment? I also have been loving, this is like the opposite end of the spectrum, but Madeline Bailey's covers. I think they're amazing. I was listening to her one of, um, God, what's it called? No Tears Left to Cry, that's really beautiful. And Drake's new album as well. Woo! Drake has my heart. When he's going on tour, I'm buying tickets because I'm obsessed with Drake. Saw him last year and it was the best like person I've ever seen live. And obviously I saw him at Wireless as well. Um, but I really want to see his actual tour. And then I also like Man Down at the moment. That's a really good song. Um, and I listen to a bit of Jeezy. That's kind of like my faves at the moment. As they update, I will let you guys know. But I've just been having a bit of a jam to myself in my room. Hairs up, eyelashes off. That's when you know it's getting real. Editing calls for snack time. I've just sat and edited a whole video that took me two and a half hours. So I'm just stopping for a break before I edit my next one and do some Instagram posts. And I've got this Cadbury Flake yogurt. Oh my God, guys, if you haven't tried these, you need to. They're so good. They're like on offer at the moment. I think my mum went to Tesco. She got it for 40p. 40p honestly this is actual heaven like i want to go to cadbury's world so bad now okay so the reason i'm holding the camera up so close to my face is because i'm gonna be honest i'm naked it's too hot like it's roasting in my room and i just can't sit here in clothes so i'm ending this vlog and i've got nothing on so that's why i'm holding the camera so far up but thank you so much for watching i really hope you guys have enjoyed remember to go and enter the cyo giveaway which will be linked down below and other than that i will see you tomorrow at 6 p.m for a brand new vlog Mwah. bye